Hey guys, today I thought I would share with you my home organizing book or home management book or whatever you want to call it. I think everybody calls it something different. But this is it. This is the cover. Sorry about that glare. This I just printed off the computer. I don't remember where I got it from. But that is to remind me that everything does not need to be done in one day. Okay, so inside, over here I keep a separate folder. This is my project book. That glare is awful. Um, this is where I just put projects that need to be done around the house. So, up here I put what room it is. And then project notes, I put what I want to do in that room. And then over here is the project action list. And I just put the things that need to be done to accomplish what I want to do in that room. And over here I just keep a post-it with a shopping list of things that I need to get. Sometimes I take a photo of whatever whatever needs to be done. Like this is the spare bathroom. And this, we needed a new fan in there. So this is a photo of the old fan so that I could take it with me to Home Depot or Lowe's. Because actually I wanted to make sure I did not get that fan again. <laughs> it was not a very good one. And again, the shopping list and all that. So that is my project book. And these are some labels and an index sheet that I printed off of the Project Girl. So this side over here is your label. You fill out and cut out and put on your storage bins. And then this side you cut out and just keep for your files. So that's that. Over here I just keep pens and pencils and scissors to cut out coupons. Next page is where I keep the calendar. And this is printed out from Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Vertex 42. And I just print out a couple of sheets you know, for the next next few months. And that stays in there. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I think there's a goal sheet over here too. Yeah. This is a goal sheet. That also came from the project girl. Okay. And this tab over here is routines. This is a sheet of my daily routines. Well, this is everything that needs to be done around the house and then it's broken up in days like this is this would be Monday and whatever's highlighted is what needs to be done on Mondays and this over here is weekly housework and that's broken up into morning early afternoon late afternoon and before bed and that's just things that need to be done every day like make the bed and do the dishes stuff like that over here is a list where well this is a spot where you can put um, things you need to buy but I keep a shopping list on our board on the side of the cabinet and I write everything in there same with the dinner menus I have a sheet up for for the month I'll show you that after. 
and this is zone work that I will show you in a minute too and then family projects and that goes throughout the week this is Tuesday again highlighted what needs to be done on Tuesday even if it's just petty things it's still on here to remind me to do it so that everything stays organized Wednesday and this goes to Friday this is just a time management checklist this is kind of cute too bad all this juggling isn't toning my arms <laughs> this is just a sheet or a checklist to do things this came from Well, it says mummytracked.com. This was just something I was fooling around with. That's another gold planning sheet. And then this tab is menu plan. So this sheet is top 10 easy meals and family favorites. So when I'm doing the menu plan out, if I can't think of a dinner or something, I just go and I look on here. I need to add some things here, but... I have a, a cookbook, too. Well, it's kind of like a, a mini scrapbook, and I take photos of our dinners, and I put it in there so that when I'm doing the menu plan, I hand that book to one of the family members, and they can't think of what they want for the week. They look through there and they pick out what they want. This is a recipes to try, which I haven't filled in yet. And this is a freezer storage cheat sheet. It came from Life Your Way. This just tells you how long things can be frozen for. And this is, let me see if I can move to get rid of this glare. Is that better? I guess that's a little bit better. Now it's probably too dark now. Okay. So this is the menu plan, and it's for a month. You see up here I write what month it is. And this goes for a month. Um, sometimes I fill it out for a month, but usually I'll do it week by week. And then this just makes it easier. So I know what I'm making for dinner on that day, or, you know, I know what I need to thaw out, or what I need to get put on my grocery list. I have that for, for a couple of months. Oh, let me tell you where that came from. That came from Life as Mum. Okay, and this tab is zone work, like I was showed you in the beginning. Um, the house is broken up into five zones, so this came from the Fly Lady. And this is zone one, the entrance, front porch, dining room. And it's just broken down into, you know, a detailed cleaning list. And this is more things that you don't do as often as your everyday cleaning. So every week on your calendar, you go over here and the week goes zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, and zone five. So it kind of goes throughout the whole house through the month. And you get those little things done that you often forget about. That's zone one. And then we have zone two. 
the kitchen. It's only three. The bathroom and an extra room. So I think I have a bathroom and either my craft room or the spare bathroom on there. And zone four, the master bedroom. And then zone five, the living room, family room, or den. So for me, it's the living room and the office. That is the zones. And then this is spring cleaning checklist. This is all broken up into the seasons. Winter, uh, no, this isn't winter, this is summer. This is winter. And it just gives you a breakdown of things that need to be done for the change of the seasons. Where did those come from? Oh, those are from Martha Stewart. Home maintenance checklist. Fall fall gardening checklist. And winter gardening checklist. And then I have this tab is contacts. And I just keep our address list there. This is holidays. And this one I have potty plan and worksheets. I don't know where this one came from. But this makes it easier to plan out our family gatherings, like this was Mother's Day. You put the occasion up there and the guest list. What you're doing, where it is, the date, the food, stuff like that. There's a holiday menu planner. These came from Organized Junkie. It's another holiday menu plan. And then this tab over here is coupons. And I just keep all the coupon policies for the stores I shop at. This is Walgreens. And that is Walmart. And, hmm, there we go, Target. Then in here, all the coupons are just broken down into categories. So, when I'm doing the menu plan, back here, I do the menu plan, and then I can just go to the back of the book over here and pull out the coupons that I need. You know, they're in these baseball card organizers. And that is pretty empty right now because I have not been doing it. <laughs> okay. In the back of the book I just keep um, like we have a meat market that we go to and this is a farm market that delivers I just keep this back here. It's just like their list of things that they offer. And it has the phone number and all that. So, I think that is it. Yep, that is it. I hope this was helpful. Any questions, just leave it in the comments. And that, like I said, I hope this was helpful. Okay, bye guys.